Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Tuesday, March 7th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Folks, lots of news and rumor out of the NFL. Let's get you caught up in case you missed it. Geno Smith is staying with the Seahawks. Three years and $105 million dollars. Derek Carr yesterday grabbed a four-year $150 million deal with the New Orleans Saints. Aaron Rodgers had a lengthy call with the New York Jets. They are believed to be the front runners to land him and sources out of Green Bay say they are hoping he does not want to come back. They are done and are ready to move on. You have to think this guy will want to stick it to all of his critics no matter where he lands. ESPN's Todd McShay has his latest mock draft out after the conclusion of the Indianapolis NFL Scouting Combine. If the Bears are indeed, as we reported yesterday per Rich Eisen, down the road on a trade of the top pick, they may have more options than previously thought. McShay has dropped Georgia defensive tackle Jalen Carter out of the top five. Would the Bears be able to trade farther down than previously thought and still grab a player they are thought to covet because he fits their scheme, at least talent-wise, they covet him. He is a wonderfully talented guy, but he's got legal issues. Here's your question of the day. Post it right here on YouTube. How would you feel if you were a GM about Jalen Carter? Is it much ado about nothing? Is it a horrible situation? I would have great pause about drafting this guy, knowing he was involved in some horrific decision-making that led to the deaths of two people. What do you think? Would you take him if he's there? What if you trade out of the top 10 and he's still sitting there at 11, 12, or even later? What would you do? Post your comments right here. Colorado police investigating Memphis Grizzly star John ja Morant after an Instagram post over the weekend in which he was brandishing a gun. This is the second gun-related incident he's been involved in. He's now on an indefinite leave from the Grizzlies and has admitted in a social media post to making mistakes and hopefully getting his life back on track. And the Bulls are off until tomorrow night when they battle one of the best teams in the NBA, the Denver Nuggets, on the road in Colorado. And here's a question that we'll be asking today on ESPN 1000. I'm working the afternoon shift with Carmen DeFalco for our spring trading that is going on. Are AK and Mark Eversley, our tourist Connor Chauvis and Mark Eversley, the front office for the Chicago Bulls, worse than the Garpax regime? I say, without a doubt, Yes, to this point in time. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you watching. Please hit that subscribe button and please help that YouTube algorithm by hitting the like button on this post. Take that.